We are MDT. We design, test, and create precision rifle chassis and accessories to help you shoot better. How's it going? I'm Andy Slade, Team MDT Shooter, and I'm here today to talk to you about my Precision Rifle 22 build. All right, so what we've got, starting from the front to the back, we've got our MDT ACC Elite chassis. It's the newest out of our lineup of Precision Rifle chassis. The barreled action is from Zero Dark Precision. It's a Rimex with a Lilja barrel. We've got a 20 inch barrel. We're using a MDT Skypod double pull. We have the Gen 3 Razor. It's a six to 36 power. And we have the MDT Send It Level. So I'll go into a few of those things and talk about why we chose them and how they help us perform at the highest level. So the MDT Skypod allows us to go from really, really low positions to really, really high positions. In 22 Precision Rifle, a lot of times we have to be in some really funny positions and we still need to get stable. So by being able to adjust our bipod to those extreme heights, it allows us to get the points. Next, Zermat is the company that makes this action and the model is called the Remax. It's a magazine fed. It has a 10 round factory magazine. It goes into your standard Remington 700 style chassis. So what's really neat about that is you can compete with your standard ACC or ACC Elite or any of our Remington 700 platform chassis using this 22 magazine in a centerfire magazine well. One thing about 22s is there's a lot of conversation about what twist rate to use. I haven't gotten into a lot of that testing yet. I'm currently running a 1 in 16 twist, which is a standard 22 twist rate. There are some other twist rates out there that would be fun to test. I just haven't gotten to that yet. Uh, some people are running like 12 or 13 twist, but for now I'm getting really good results, even out to 400 yards with this 1 in 16 twist and this Ely Match ammunition. Uh, one of the things I'll say is that you probably want to test a bunch of different ammunition in your 22 so that you can tell which one shoots the best. You will find a lot number on your box of ammunition and if you try several different lots a lot of times you will find one that really really shoots well then you will go back and buy a large amount of that lot so that you can keep that rifle shooting well for a long time one of the things you'll notice about rimfire is that the barrels tend to be shorter one of the great things about our acc line is that you can add weights anywhere you'd like to help to balance those rifles on the positional props that you'll see in the prs and nro matches so the trigger that i'm using here is a trigger tech diamond it's set to about one pound it's a standard remington 700 trigger that you would use on your center fire but remex uses that same trigger on their rim fire which is nice and it has the exact same feel as my competition center fire rifle Next, we've got our 6 to 36 razor. One of the big things about that is it allows us to go from 10 yards parallax all the way to infinity. In these 22 matches, a lot of times you're shooting at really close ranges, and a lot of your centerfire scopes won't go down far enough in parallax. So when you're choosing a scope for rimfire competition, make sure that it will go down far enough in parallax to be able to shoot the close ranges that you'll be shooting with 22s. Now we also go all the way out to the far ranges, like 400 yards and sometimes further, and having a lot of elevation travel in your scope really, really helps for that. And the 36 power helps me to get really good zeros so that's why i chose that scope it's currently mounted in our one piece mount which is a rock solid mount for this scope it's got six bolt caps on top and really heavy duty hardware never had one shift all right the next thing we're going to go to here is our send it level and the send it level helps you to make sure that you're always level in 22 competitions a lot of times you're dialing a lot of elevation and by having that level on there and being able to see exactly whether the rifle is level it's gonna ensure that you're getting all of your points. So the cool thing about the ACC chassis in the back of the chassis is it allows us to adjust it exactly where we want it for your body. So you'll notice that I've got it just a little bit off center and a little bit raised here to keep it off of my pec muscle. Also with the ACC chassis, it allows us to move the pistol grip front and back and to adjust our thumb placement so we get that perfect trigger press every time. The mag latch here is adjustable up and down so we can change the presentation of that round. And also there are some Delrin rods inside of here that center that magazine in the chassis to make sure that we're keeping that magazine perfectly centered so we get that round into the chamber without uh, damaging that lead tip. The last thing that we're gonna highlight here is the Baker wings. So in Precision Rifle 22 competitions, you're gonna see a lot of positional shooting. With the Baker wings, we get a lot of lateral stability so that the rifle is very stable on a bag off of a barricade or other shooting prop. 
and it also allows that rifle to track straight back with what little recoil the 22 has. So, all in all, I think this is the perfect 22 build, and it's what I'm going to be taking to the PRS finale in about two weeks.